Shalom Israel, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, and the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land where it goes. Shalom. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord have not done it? Surely the Lord God, Yahweh Bashim al will do nothing, but he reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And we're coming out here proclaiming these words to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, letting y'all know that, hey man, we're living in the last days. This is the time to repent to the one true living God. The truth is out. That up in these churches, they've been uh, giving us a false God and a false idol to, to worship. You know, they've been trying to keep us away from our true heritage, our true nationality of who we are, that we are the lost 12 tribes of Israel with the Lord's chosen people. But this time, with all this truth going out, this is the time to repent to the one true living God, to seek his face, start watching the videos of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because Shehaw Bashim al Shah said when he comes back, and anybody that has not repented to him, you know, the slain of the Lord will be many. Okay, so let's get into this epistle. I just left the hospital with our two deputies. Uh, one deputy is going to be released soon in stable condition. He was shot in the face. Um, and our other deputy is going to remain in the hospital in critical condition, uh, but stable. He was shot in the eye. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 5, verse 7. Make no terror to turn to Yahweh Bashim al Shai, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh Bashim al Shai come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. You're all going to die down here. Breaking news, three children have been discovered dead in a Reseda apartment. Their mother is now under arrest. I'm Veronica Miracle. And I'm Jory Rand. This is Eyewitness News at 4. We begin with this unthinkable tragedy playing out in the San Fernando Valley. Let's get right to Amy Powell live in Reseda with those breaking details. Amy. Jory and Veronica, just a very shocking crime. As you mentioned, three small children believed to be siblings all under the age of four found dead and now their mother is in custody. All these things that's happening right now are letting us know that Yahweh Shai is about to come back and judge this earth. That's why these warnings are going out to the children of Israel, to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians, letting y'all know, hey man, repent to the one true living God before it's too late. This is the book of 2nd Edges chapter 9 verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things from the beginning, spoke of those things from the days that were before, the, before, before thee, even from the beginning. Well, Shep, it's been a day for developments. We've learned more about the shooter, more about the circumstances surrounding the shooting, and much more about the 10 victims that lost their lives. Now, as we read in the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 6, Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? This is judgment playing out on the earth. This is judgment going forth. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 21, verse 9, Son of Man. Prophesy and say, Thus said Yahweh by Shema Shah, thus said the Lord, Say, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. And he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened. And it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer 
That's right. Yahweh Shemasha has very uh, spirits created for vengeance out here, and they they're doing what the Lord has proclaimed for them to do. They're doing, you know, what the Lord has told them to do is go out there and slaughter, man. So this is why we need Yahweh Shemasha to protect us in this time, you know. That's why we need to repent to the one true living God and be covered with the blood of the Lamb to be exempt from this judgment, you know. And that's why these warnings are going out. From the elders and apostles, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and all the other brothers on down that umbrella. Just coming out here, bringing out the 100% truth of the scriptures. Letting y'all know that we're living in the last days. These words of prophecy are true. You know, and they will come to pass. And they are coming to pass as we speak. Repent to the one true living God before it's too late, brothers and sisters. You so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. So you think those robot dogs are gonna be used for pets? No, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. So you know, that's why this word is going out. This is the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four, verse six. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. That's right, man. This is just the beginning, you know, So, because we got to go through the time of Jacob's trouble. Um, there's going to be great mass deaths. It's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. These draconian laws, everything, nothing's going to be like it was. Nothing's going to be normal. Nothing's going to be, you know, no matter how much these people try to live their lives and, you know, try to go back to that. This is it. This is the end, you know. The only thing to look forward to is the kingdom of heaven. That's why this word is going out to comfort us in these days, to prepare us, get us ready for all these sad per perils that's about to come to come up, come upon us, man. All right, and that's why this warning is going out to the children of Israel. And we're this word, this word is only going out for the 144, hopefully, like, and one third of Israel, the ones that's going to hear this word, believe it, and take it very seriously, and do what they can to repent to the one true living God, you know, uh, and to beg the Lord, the Lord Yahweh Shemashah for mercy, man, in these days. Let's continue on with the strip, with the epistle. And keep in mind, you Negroes and Hispanic and Native American Indians, as the scripture has said, least ye repent. You're all going to die down here. And less than 24 hours ago, another mass shooting in South Carolina, yet again in America. A former NFL player is now reported to have killed five people, including two children, five and nine years old, before he shot himself in the head. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, <clears throat> verse 18. It says, Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. See? And this word is only going out to the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. Not the whole world. It's talking about the house of Israel, the children, the, the Yahweh Hashem uh chosen nation. Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Therefore, thus said Yahweh Hashem the Lord God, because ye are all become dross. Behold, there, therefore, I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem. As they, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it. To melt it so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury and I will leave you there and melt you yea I will gather you and blow upon you in, in the fire of my wrath and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof 
As silver is melted in the midst of the furnace, so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh Shai, who have poured out my fury upon you. That's right, man. That's why we're warning the children of Israel to repent, because it's not going to be pretty when Yahweh Shai unleashes this fury upon the children of Israel and judge this wicked world for all this wickedness. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 66 verse 16 For behold the Lord, Yahweh Shai, will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. That's right, the chariots that you, you ignorantly call UFOs. To render his anger and fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. That word plead actually means to judge. We're going to go to the book of Luke. Chapter 13, verse 3. I'm going to wrap it up, brothers and sisters, with this one. Luke chapter 13, verse 3. Suppose, and Yahweh shall answer, said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Or those eighteen upon whom the tower of Siloam fell and slew them, Think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwell in Jerusalem? I tell ye nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So with that, hope this is edifying brothers and sisters and the warning is out to the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indians telling y'all to repent to the one true living God. Because if you don't, ye shall all likewise perish. So with that, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever goeth. Shalom, Israel. Shalom. You're all going to die, Dad.